welcome back to another Misadventures in Gardening. Today we're talking tomatoes. It is the thick of summer, it is hot out here, and we are having quite a bit of difficulty growing a lot of things. Tomatoes, however, is something that we've continued to have pretty good luck with. However, as the heat came on, we started to notice a problem with our tomatoes, and it got me worried that we were dealing with some pests. We started getting some rings right around the stem or splits that were happening on the tomatoes themselves. Uh, they might be like a half split around the stem, a full split, uh, but it looked to me like we were having a bug eat them. They just looked like little eating patterns around the edge of the tomato. I was getting quite disheartened because we were going from good full cherry tomato production to having most of our cherry tomatoes have these splits, which I was thinking they were getting eaten by bugs. Sadly, I didn't look it up and we started chunking every one of them that I thought was bug infested, which was over half of our cherry tomato production. Finally, I got some sense about me and I want to let you all know that this little bit of splitting, this is actually something you don't have to worry about. If you pull the tomato off when it first starts to split and let it ripen in the house, you're good to go. This is actually a situation that evolves from dryness in the soil and then watering it was when it heats up and the tomatoes start to ripen the outside skin thickens to retain the moisture on the inside of the fruit however when that happens and the ground gets dry from a period of extended dryness and then you suddenly water it that influx of water into the tomato causes it to become a little bit uh, too tight on that skin and the skin bursts or splits if you get the tomato inside at that point, let it ripen inside, you're good to go. As long as it's not smelling sour, you should be good to eat the tomato still. And if you are watching this before you get to the point I did, you won't have thrown out half of your tomato production. In addition to the uh, circular splitting around the stem that you can get, you can also get what they call radial splitting. And we kind of have that going on with this one here. I'm going to pull it off. If we bring that in close, you can see that has a split kind of going down the side rather than around the stem. And this can happen when it gets, starts to get really hot outside. Maybe you're getting above 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, maybe you're having a real increase in humidity. Those types of things can actually cause splitting in that direction as well. Again, the thing here is you want to try to get the fruit off before it has a chance to sour and get exposed outside for too long uh, and then let it ripen indoors. Some of the things that you can do to combat uh, that, that, that heat exposure, you might be tempted to trim a lot of the dead leaves uh, off of the tomato plants to keep nutrients going to all the good healthy leaves, which is a good thing to do, but too much trimming leaves a lot of the tomatoes exposed to more sun and less shade that can expose them to a bit more heat. One of the other things that can make tomatoes have a bit more heat is when there's less room for cool air between them. If the plants are too close together, you'll have a lot less airflow between them and the heat can build between plants faster and cause that radial splitting. So what can you do about it if you really don't like splits in your tomatoes? There are a few varieties of tomatoes that are more split resistant. You've got the big beef, uh, the sweet million, the supersonic, the, uh, the angry biker dude, um, angry screaming old lady. Uh, okay, so those last couple aren't real varieties, but I mean, you gotta give it to me. There are some pretty ridiculously named varieties out there. Moving past that, there are certain varieties of tomatoes that you can get that will resist the cracking. So if you don't wanna deal with that or you're concerned about it, uh, or you're shopping which types of tomatoes to get, there you go. There's a few out there. Go online, look it up. You'll find a few other varieties that'll ensure you have less of that cracking during the hotter summer months. So there you have it. Took a little bit of break from our 4th of July festivities to break down the dreaded summertime tomato splitting dilemma. Now that you know it's not some terrible problem and hopefully you haven't thrown out a ton of tomatoes like me, uh, you can enjoy your tomatoes and let them ripen inside if you're getting any splitting. Make sure you keep your tomatoes very well watered and very regularly watered. And uh, of course, get the varieties that make the most sense for you to avoid that. Thanks. I hope we'll see you on the next Misadventures in Gardening.